Hey everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here, and I just want to share with you what I have been doing today, and it's been a long one. So there are sunflowers at the heads of each of these rows here, and then of course the corn. Now you can kind of see that, uh, you know, the soybean field in the back is plowed up, but there was no way in the world that that huge tractor was going to be able to come in here without busting something else up so yeah I had to get that tiller out so yeah my rows aren't that straight uh, maybe if I had a, a horse team and, and and a plow or something like that I could probably do it The sunflowers over here are finally growing taller than the grass. I'm still going to be pulling a lot of grass and weed seed out. Or weed seed, you know, a lot of grass and weeds out. Interestingly, um, I've been doing um, a little bit of fertilizing and some of these sunflowers are doing better than others. They were all planted at the same time as seed. And some of them just kind of got stunted from the bugs, I think, taking bites out of them. I don't know. And some are just doing better. The ones on this side aren't um, nearly as full and, and big. Those bricks are there just kind of covering up some of the weeds. And it's about time to go to the other side with them. They won't stay there, though. Something really odd about this uh, mint here is that stink bugs love mint apparently I have found them just crawling through it like really and I also you know see that the ants like it everybody's like oh plant some mint you'll keep all the bugs away And that's cabbage. This cabbage has a little bit of spotting on it from um, a neem and peppermint oil treatment. And it's the same age as this cabbage. This cabbage is way bigger and it's in the, the pallet bed. So, yeah, the cinder block, you know, I, I can't say it's the cinder block just because it also in a different uh, potting medium because this is in um, a soil like miracle Grow, and this is in that kind of gritty raised bed mix 